I just wanted to understand that uh, why is it all connected that way that because Hindus do not take pride in their culture, they do not uh, sort of start their own media company. And if that is the case, where does this end? I mean, how do we change this ongoing uh, cycle then? So see, see, the Hindu mind was colonized. Let's face it also, and colonized with brutality. Mm -hmm. That in my books and in the museum I'm building in Pune, I have put an emphasis on the Hindu Holocaust because it's probably the greatest Holocaust that humanity has known. So Hindus mind have been colonized and traumatized. So mm -hmm. there is still, you know, things are like that happen. They're in genes, you know. It's not like you need to think, oh, I've been traumatized, I've been colonized. It's it's in the genes of Indians now. So. There's a fear. Uh, there's a fear that makes you cheat because, let's face it, you know, there's a lot of cheating in India, a lot of corruption, and there's a fear that makes you look for yourself only your immediate self and family. So, mm -hmm. look at the Chinese. They were not colonized. So the Chinese are proud, proud to the, you know, they go to, the, they go overboard. They, they go on the other extremity. The Chinese are pr proud to the point that. You, know, you can't say anything and they take offense and they start, you know, uh, you know start canceling the, the, the orders for Boeing or for Airbuses, you know, and threatening you. Mm -hmm. But because Indian men have been colonized and the Hindu might particularly have been colonized and traumatized, uh, you know, it's a, it's a uphill battle because uh, one would need to fight this to, to, you know, like you speak to a child, you say, come on, you know, you know you're five years old, you know, stop having bad dreams, you know, face the reality, open your eyes, you know, look, look, you can, you can do it. So the same thing should be done to Hindus. Someone should be able, and I think some gurus do it, you know, but, you know, stand for yourself, you know, look, be, be a brother and sister, you know, look after you, the poorer, the poorer Hindus. You, know. you don't need a mother Zereda to look after the, you know, the Dalits and the lepers, and you can do it yourself. You have the means, you have the number, you have the money. Mm -hmm. So, that would be part of, you know, giving back a sense of pride and non-fear and courage to Hindus because they lack courage. I mean, Hindu, uh, Mahatma Gandhi said it, you know, he said, Muslims are bullies and Hindus are cowards. And I do think he was right. You know, there is a, there's a sense of fear amongst Hindus that at the least sign of danger, everybody goes underground. I have seen you know, when I was covering India, that least sign of strike, you know, all Hindus stay and, you know, your parents say, no, no, don't go out, stay home, it's dangerous. So we need to give back Hindus the sense of being a Kshatriya, a warrior. This is very important. Hindus have many qualities, but they lost the, the quality of being a Kshatriya. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar. <laughs>